And if they go with this, they will have a ton of damage, but a difficult time getting any setup. We say full information. He's actually not spotted at all. And Linderan's overextended here. Moving forward, Adapt Defenses is up. Taunt is going to land. Yankos has the red buff. This should be an easy pickup. Tactical Sweep goes in. Yankos trying to make it out. Hook shot, wall dive to safety. Yankos looking for it, not going to find it. Hungry for it, but Linderan walks away. Thresh mechanics very, very similar when it comes to playmaking. He will go for the big plays in the mid lane. Oh, nice timing on the level six. Cleanses out. Mickey, first blood. Oh, solo kill comes in for Fevivin. Yeah, the excess wasn't going to be enough because of the taking of the cleanse. And Mickey plays on that raised edge. Fevivin, though. Oh, the flash play, the follow up. They're looking for a way out. Scatter the leak. Is it going to buy time? Here comes the Shen. Fevivin, any more damage? Buy time. Maybe going to get him under the tower. Doesn't find it in the end. Swan so one looking for a way out. Run forward, don't think they're gonna get much of anything else. He is there as well, but Odawamne is hungry for blood. I don't think he can afford to take this fight. Now backing off, Karma's on the way. Are they gonna get baited in? Looks like Rock's backing off. Famously taking down SK Telecom in all four games of summer, so can get things together on occasion. Yankos, decent damage coming out. Throw the hunts in there. Makazik is on the way as well. The slow rundown coming out. Mickey gonna try to heal up, flashes away, slows down with the fruit. It's a nice play, but he's not gonna make it out alive. Yankos grabs one, fight continues. Kha'Zix has he overextended. Gonna back out, gonna jump over the wall. Not gonna get locked down in the end. Didn't see the lantern come out from Key. May have been on cooldown. Tried to go for the hook, but wasn't enough to keep alive Mickey. You're now zero and two. Mickey ran the first game we saw from the Rocks Tigers, but this is the other side of the coin when you play as aggressive as he does. Here, Mickey has it now. Looks like he's trying to make a play this of his own. though. Yankos, heal up, red buff. Can't really afford to take this, Mickey's gonna leap in. Shen's coming as well, has Mickey overextended, the rest of the team is here. Shen looking for the taunt, is gonna get it, but pulling them into the package. Extra damage, Yankos gets exhausted, the team shields him up, he's running away, he's taken down, but he's gonna make it out, and oh my god, H2K on the knife set. And out of nowhere, Mickey is 0, 3, and 0. He's known and famed on this Corky pick for one man invades. So advantages all across the map for H2K, and... With the scaling as well, Fevivin. Caught out, has the lantern, now throwing in, looking to get the backup. Jay is there as well. Fevivin running for his life, has cleanse, has flash. Song one, he's the one who may have gone too far in, but there's no mana for Fevivin. Yango's gonna flash over, he wants to keep it going. Box says no. Both teams eager to fight. H2K, not too concerned. Trying to set up on Lindorang once again. They've identified the win condition you talked about, and they want to shut it down. Oh, still taunted out. Let's get the wall dive through in the end. Not gonna be enough. The ultimatum. Just a brief respite as he does go down in the end. Fevin picking up yet another kill. You're not putting it onto that win condition. You're not putting it onto that Camille. I just see push up really aggressively oh, here, Fevin. Going forward. Yanko's just gonna get picked off in the jungle. Could be an issue moving forward. Small trade. I mean, onto the Shen lane. Hextech ultimatum. Kha'Zix going in. They're gonna trade tank on the tower. Odawamne may go down here. Not quite dead yet. Wall dive, hook shot. Doesn't matter. Ticks down in the end. Rock's making plays on the top side of the map. H2K have been caught and exposed. They don't have enough members here to stop this from going down. And they're gonna go for another one of these slight dives. Doesn't really count, because the minions actually stay alive. Rotating the Corky even pre-Trinity Force. Two inner turrets down is actually accelerating the pace of the game in a way we couldn't have expected when Mickey was 0-3 before we hit 10 minutes. Good map movement, though. They don't have as much defensive vision. They're gonna meet Yankos and Che. Looks like H2K may be the ones who are caught out, however. Yanko's running for his life. Che is going to fall for sure. Yanko's looking for a taxi to make it out to safety. Out comes the ultimate song one on the back side, but there's the defensive Shenol. Can they get him down? Yanko's gonna live, and Fevin's popping off with a killing spree. But now the battle for Baron Vision has already begun. It's only 22 minutes, and the teams are looking at it, but Sangyun may be the first target. Nice lantern comes in and mitigates the pressure there. Nuclear firing off shots in frustration. I'm waiting to see. How Linderong will go. He's two levels above Shen. He's been making the map. Oh, Yanko! Out of nowhere! All comes in. Yanko is exhausted. The kill. He's gonna go down, but Odawamne still makes it to the middle of the team. He's disrupting everything. Spirit's Refuge more than enough. Nuclear trying to flash out, but there comes the Hextech ultimatum, and the ultimatum is death. Linderang gonna get one back, though. Now moving forward. Odawamne on the front line does get the taunt on Mickey. Fevivin wants a little bit more of a kill. Key not gonna connect the hook. In goes Fevivin. He wants another one. Dark Sphere. That's the double. Moving forward, maybe looking for more key, a little too far. Dark Spear's coming in left and right. He's taunted up, he's dropped down. Odo gets one for himself, and they're just cleaning up house. But Forbidden from that Watch point Forbidden. doesn't miss, miss a single skill shot and allows him to clean up the game. And speaking oh, of cleanup, not going to be enough. Yanko's cut down in an instant by Rox, and that is the pick that they wanted. 
keep us going forward. It's engage time. Fight ready to start. Waits for the hook. Brilliant play from Yankos. He's forward. Shen's going to be in the back line. Out Mickey. comes the redemption. Shots going in. Lindorex on the back side, though. Nuclear didn't see it coming, but the tactical sweep is not enough. The Camille is too far behind, and no one has died from H2K, but Odo will be the first in this one-for-one -one exchange. And now no frontline is available on either side. Only the Rengar has already leaped in. Really a solid flank. That could have been disaster for Rox. And this could be disaster for H2K because Yankos has out. been caught out. He can all, but who is he going to get taped down? Heals up, runs for his life, hook goes down onto Che. Hextech ultimatum, it's Bebevin who's been talked out. They don't have the damage to kill Linderang. The Camille cleaning up as Mickey dishes out the damage. Rox now moving to the Baron, and this is disaster for H2K. Three members have fallen. He credited them with a the compositional advantage. But when you're down 7k, when you're down a Baron buff, it just does not matter. And it's been Rox slowly but steadily building a gold lead that we thought would not matter, but then blowing it wide open off the back of a single mistake from Yankos on the side of H2K. Rox take the inhibitor, continue to push with confidence. They're looking to break the bottom side as well. H2K may just bleed out here if they do not find a fight soon. Yeah, but forcing one against Baron is always so tricky. They're gonna go for one though. Shot going out, Redemption, gonna heal back up the damage. Hope goes in from Febivin. Lantern ready to disengage Key, maybe the member who's going to get caught out. Locked up, does manage to hook onto Jay. Linderang wants to go in, Febivin takes so much damage to the backside, but Yankos has taken down Key. Linderang, it could be next, but the all from Bars is locking up the team. Oh, members popping left and right, the Kha'Zix tries to make it to safety. Nuclear has the crit, Mickey. he's gonna go for it. Odoamne flashes forward, Yankos is alive and well. That's member taken down, the crit, the only shot Nuclear has. Wide open window to come in once he burns it. Sangyun flashes forward. Mickey wants a little bit more. Yankos tries to lock it up, but Rocks are playing this so patiently. And they may just look to end the game. I don't know if they have the health buzz. They have Guardian Angel and Song One. No, they think better of it. They're back away, but it's one team fight away. It's a couple of picks away from three members not being able to stop the siege from Rocks Tigers. And it all looked so clean 15 minutes ago with no Titanic Hydra. It takes a long time for him to kill these super minions. The three item breakpoint you talked about, Linderong, was not for the towers backing up the Shen, would be an easy 1v1. Devin takes a lot of damage, curtain call. Now and ever. Looking for their last shot to win this back. It's just simply not enough in the end. Redemption nullifies the damage, nullifies the engagement. Yankos wants to find Linderong. They do lock him up. He has no GA, but the rest of Rox is here. Key looking for the hook, not going to connect it. Out comes the Hextech ultimatum. Odoamne gets popped in the backside. Rox are making it all too easy with this clean close up. Yankos going to drop as well. Linderang gets a little bit more. Febivin finds one in exchange, but it's simply not enough. Mickey, maybe a little too far forward, almost grabs nuclear. Rox. Gonna take down the tower, gonna take down the Nexus, move up 1-0 in this series. H2K looking lost. We respected the Rocks Tigers for their ability to play the split push game. 